We bring greetings of peace, of love, and of blessings. This is the Queen Mother Kadel, and I am coming to you very briefly to give you the weekly update. It is a blessing and an honor to always come unto you, and as I have promised to you, we are going to start next week to do the yearly report. The yearly report is what we do when we recap the whole year. Um, with uh, our foundation and what it is that we have done uh, with the work of the Federation, of the uh, African Federation, uh, the things that we have done within that department. Uh, we also report on the staff members, the amount of money that we have raised for each project that we have worked on, and we give detailed information. We are going to bring that to you next week, so I thought it was important that I let you know. Uh, there is actually people that have uh, contacted us, and they look forward to the uh, yearly reports. So we wanted to put that out there so each of you would know that it would be next week we would do the yearly report. Right now, we are going to take just a few moments, and we're going to do the weekly report for each of you. And let you know some of the things that have been going on. Uh, within the Federation and within the Foundation. We have been working with the attorney on a lot of paperwork, so we, this was important for us to let each person know this, that you have to be very careful because there is a lot of um, dishonesty that is out there, even upon the Facebook. So everyone that is on Facebook is not necessary legitimate as they may claim to be. So therefore, we have taken the liberty to download paperwork. And uh, as I have stated before, my birth record, my uh, even my birth certificate, uh, even the uh, information uh, with me being crowned as Queen Mother and everything, it is open to Google. And this is not paperwork uh, for me. Uh, this is not something that we just put up on Facebook, but my birth records uh, can be given to anyone uh, concerning the public domain. Uh, they are not hidden records. Um, we have uh, made them open to the public purposely um, to let each person know that we are legit, we are legitimate in our crowning and in the work that we do. They uh, uh, have opened this up and I have signed that it is okay. Um, so it can prove that I am the bloodline of King George of Africa and uh, I carry my title, I carry it legally, and I am the right person. So, therefore, anyone who wants that information, it is uh, free on the Google if you cannot find it. Please uh, let us know. And uh, we will direct you in the right path. So, with that being said, we want to go into some of the things for the weekly update. One of the things that we are so very happy about is the many applications that we have received uh, for the uh, ancestral DNA data program. It is doing very well. Uh, we have received support, um, global support. Uh, not just in one area, but it's been a uh, global support. We appreciate uh, all of you that have done your application. We highly respect you, and we appreciate you taking the first step necessary to find out your roots, your history, who you are, your culture, and your customs, and where you come from. I think it is a great honor. Uh, even I myself, Queen Mother, I took the time to have my DNA done, and it was absolutely refreshing. It was wonderful to have that done. Uh, so for those of you that have not downloaded the application, we encourage you to do so, to have it notarized, and have everything um, done in a legal manner, and then get your application. Uh, you can contact Lady B. And she's more than happy to uh, give you the information that is necessary and that is needed.
We also know that Lady B has done such a beautiful job. We are very pleased with her. Uh, the Swiss management company, and uh, we have been pleased, very pleased with the work that she has done, especially with the uh, ancestor data program. She has been doing. So if you contact her and you need more information of any kind, she's more than happy to help you. She's more than willing to help you. Uh, so we wanted to get that out there so each of you would know because we have application. It is there. It's not costing you anything except to get it notarized. And if it's going to cost too much to get it notarized, if you let us know, you uh, let Lady B know that it is a ridiculous price. Uh, we would work with you on that as well. I know that we had a young lady um, that went from one country to another country. When she got to the other country, it was a hundred or two hundred dollars to have uh, the application notarized. Therefore, it was difficult for her to pay that amount of money. So I am telling you this because I want you to have a pretty good example uh, as to what we mean when we say let us know at this the price is too high for the notarized. So therefore, we went ahead and we decided to work with her. Uh, so her name has been turned in to receive her kit. So probably uh, January or February, her kit will be uh, with her and she will be taking her test. Also, I wanted to say to each of you, uh, of course, you talk to Lady B, she would invite this for me. But um, when you do your, when you do receive your kit, we do ask each of you to try to uh, record it. It is okay to go ahead and uh, record it uh, because we are making it documentary. So if you was to record it, you know, if you do the straws on both sides of your mouth, you know that would be appreciated. But we don't pressure you to do so. That is your choice. Uh, but we do put it out there that if you want to be a part of the documentary that we are going to do, then uh, the way to do that is to record uh, your testing as you are doing it. So moving right along from the Ancestor Digital Database, we want to talk about some of the programs that we have uh, that is going on within the foundation. Uh, the King Series, we have some beautiful management that are working very hard. And I want to say this from the bottom of my heart. We greatly appreciate our president and our director, uh, the president, Kate Sirius, Lady B. Bless, which is the director. We greatly appreciate your work and your dedication. This is what we are here for. We are here to champion um, for the people and the children uh, that need this that uh, are reaching and trying to gain an education. We are there for you. We are working on your behalf. We are not here just to hold a title or a name, uh, just because it sounds good, but we are here to work on your behalf. We want to do this. Uh, I have worked with people pretty much all my life. My mother, she loved to work with humanity work. She did it all of her life. She trained us and she taught us how to love and, and, and to be compassionate and care for people. So this is why we are here. So the manager of the game series, you are doing such a beautiful job. We appreciate your patience. And just the fact that you would step up and say that you want to do this work, it speaks for your great character. It speaks for you as a beautiful person. And we appreciate it greatly. And we want to take a moment out to say thank you. Also, within the foundation, we have always championed for victims of domestic violence, um, for children that have been raped or that have been molested. We have always worked with those people. We have always done that. I can recall being a young girl. And I can recall my mother working with victims of domestic violence. And I can recall her telling me that it's one of the most important works that she has ever done. So I want to always bring that up 
and I want to always mention that because it is something that is very dear to my heart. And I knew that when I began to do work with domestic violence, I knew that it would not be easy. I knew that it would be difficult. I knew that there was times I would cry myself. But me as being a victim of domestic violence, I can tell you, it is so very urgent, it is so very important that we all get involved. So no matter what else we are working with or whatever uh, other programs that we are working with, we we are always championing for women and children and even sometimes men that are being abused. But I want to say this. When you are living in abuse, there is times it seems nobody cares. And no matter how much you cry or suffer, people have a tendency of turning and looking the other way. So we don't want to do that. We want to make a difference in the lives of men, women, boys, and girls that are suffering every day. Because when you turn the other way, whether you know it or not, domestic violence hurts our community as a whole. There can be no healing, there can be no help for the community until we realize that. Uh, you cannot stop violence in the street until you can stop violence in the home. That is the answer. You have violence in the streets only because there is violence in the home. Violence is not going to just be in the home and stay there. It's going to spread to the corners. It's going to spread to the street. There is an old proverb that says, charity begins at home. Well, charity is not the only thing that begins at home. Violence begins at home. And we want to make a difference. So we thank each of you that have uh, worked with us. And those of you that are champions for the cause of abuse, we greatly appreciate you. Because violence kills more people in the world than any war we have ever had, than cancer, diabetes, or any sickness in this world. More people die from the hands of violence every year than any sickness that we could think of. So I am so very grateful for those of you that have championed for this cause, that have taken the time out, and that have worked with us so diligently and so patiently. I want to say that we greatly appreciate you. Also, I want to add this, that I have been working very closely with King Salman. I've been pretty much speaking to him just about every day. Uh, we have been taking care of a lot of legal matters. But I want to say this. We have a team, and he works very hard to see that the Queen Mother can carry on certain programs. And I want to give credit to who credit is due. King Solomon, we greatly appreciate your dedication. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's always the Queen Mother that is out in the front or that you see. But our king works very hard and diligently on the paperwork and helping Queen Mother to stay focused on certain things that I have to do because I work hard hours, I work very long. And I want to say this, our king has worked and dedicated himself so therefore the lawyers are working him into a wonderful budget and we want to reward him for his work. Because we do appreciate it, uh, his dedication and his work. So those are some of the things that um, we are doing with the Federation. Uh, we are making sure that things are going along smoothly the way that they should. And the team has uh, very faithfully, he has worked on me with uh, these things. And we greatly appreciate it. We appreciate it very greatly. So with that being said, we hope that um, each of you are having a wonderful, wonderful week. I know some are taking a couple of weeks off. Uh, everyone knows Queen Mother, she don't celebrate any holidays at all. But for those of you that do, blessings unto you. So I am going to depart at this time from your presence, but you're always going to be in my heart. So I do thank you for your efforts. I thank each of you for how you have uh, stood up and uh, championed for some great cause. Uh, and to the King Civis, we are unbreakable. And from this point on, it's nothing but blessings.
And we just thank you for your time. Peace, love, and blessings unto each of you. Shalom.